And following this spectacular launch by SpaceX overnight, four astronauts are now headed to the International Space Station as we speak. This is the first NASA crew we've learned comprised equally of men and women. And that includes the first black woman making a long-term space flight. ABC 13's Brittany Wilmer has been monitoring reaction from our newsroom to this one. Hi, Brittany. Hey, Rita. Good morning. Yeah, looking at the replies on Twitter, some people called this the most beautiful launch they'd ever seen. Another person did share excitement that this is the first mission for pilot Bob Hines and Jessica Watkins, mission specialist who, again, is the first black woman to serve on the International Space Station for a six-month stay. Now, the SpaceX Dragon Freedom capsule took off from Kennedy Space Center just before 3 a.m. our time. Now the crew, the first equally made up of men and women, will arrive at the space station at 7.15 tonight, Houston time. A little bit about Watkins, the 33-year-old ge geologist from Colorado. Again, she'll serve as the mission specialist. She's also a former NASA intern. With this trip, she'll be just the fifth black woman to have gone to space. Joining Trailblazers Mae Jemison, Dr. Cyan Proctor, Stephanie Wilson, and Joan Higginbotham. She's also been tapped to be part of the Artemis mission in 2024 that would return humans back to the moon. Now, we asked Watkins, why does she think it's taken 50 years for a black woman to live on the space station and go on a spacewalk as she will? She said some of it may have been the timing and logistics, but some of it also reflects the systemic issues we've seen in our country. There's a bit of a, a pipeline problem, if you will, um, where I think that, um, you know, there's room to invest more in kind of youth education and um, getting young girls and um, young people of color involved at an earlier age and then providing them the support and resources to kind of continue along that path and pursue um, s careers in STEM. Watkins said investing in the younger generation will be key and that NASA gets that by making sure there's access to internships again like the one that she's had. Now something else people online are really digging this crew four mission patch. NASA released this image of it overnight which features a dragonfly and represents transformation and good fortune. Live in the newsroom I'm Brittany Wilmore back to you.